Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. As always, want to start off the video by saying thank you to all the subscribers, all the viewers, all the supporters on the channel. Join the channel, so much support, immensely appreciate it. If you guys do like the content, if you guys do like the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that bell button to get alerts and updates on all new content posted on the channel. Today, as you can see here, I have Portola Pharmaceuticals pulled up once again, PTLA. And today I'd like to go through a number of swing trades I have made over about a two-week period or so. I invested $42,843.99 with total buys, uh, with total sales of $43,881.60 for a profit of $1,037.61, which if you calculate that over an entire year, is 63% return on money, 63% APR. So got a little bit lucky, but Portola over the lifespan of this portfolio has been doing very, very well for, for the portfolio. Uh, save four, this is one of the best investments so far of day and swing trades. I've done quite a few day and swing trades. I'll kind of highlight the trades I've made over the past week. Uh, but it's been very, very profitable because of the very predictable up and down nature of the price graph here. As you can see over the last three months here, there are a number of great places for limit buy orders here, as well as limit sell orders when it peaks up here. And I've been really doing this for about six months or so. I did stop for quite some time just because of the tax implications of having a stock that you hold longer term as well as doing day and swing trades, essentially resetting the date for your capital gains rates. Uh, but because I'm going to be selling this off anticipated early 2018 here, probably around March, April, May, I, will, I wasn't going to be able to make a year of holding for any of the stocks that I had bought. So I thought I'd jump back into doing day and swing trading, and I'm very glad I did because it's been very, very profitable for the portfolio. So having said all that, let's jump down to the bottom here to kind of show you guys the orders here for full transparency. On the bottom here, you can see a number of buy orders. I'll go through all of the buy orders first, and then I'll go through the limit sell orders, uh, and then you'll kind of see the profit there of 1037.61 if you guys want to add that up or not. So the limit orders here on the bottom, 5,127, 5,054, 24 89 50 49 50 41 40 35 9 78 60 and then you see a few limit cells here uh, this limit buy here is not included this is a little bit higher than the other orders 51 10 was not able to get out of this trade another limit buy here 24 79 49 38 90 and then on top there, 95, 99, 50, 30, 87, 50. And then that last limit buy on the top there, 73, 80. Still looking to get out of that trade here, bought at 49, 20. If we go to the bottom here, the limit sell orders, you can see those starting here with the $1,000 trade on December 19th, $1,000 there. Above that, 11, 808, 75, 10, 624, 60. If we go all the way up to the top here, 12, 9, 45, 25, and then that last sell there, 7503. So if you add all of those up, limit buys 42, 8, 43, 99, limit sells 43, 8, 81, 60 for a total profit of $1,037.61. That if you took it over a full year of trading, 63% return on money. So not too bad here. Got, uh, I think, a little bit lucky just because of the volatility with the stock. It did have an announcement that the FDA is pushing back a decision on one of its more in influential products that's in the pipeline right now. And one of the products that, if it's passed, this is probably an $80 to $100 stock and probably a prime target for an acquisition by a much larger uh, pharmaceutical company. But if it does not pass that FDA decision, and uh, some of the investors did get a little bit spooked here, it will probably pull back quite considerably, probably around the $40 range, if not lower. And just to kind of highlight that pullback here, you can see what's trending up very nicely here. And then de definitely pulled back 47.25. Did rebound here, but it is down a bit over the past three months here. 12.33 in the red, just because of that extended FDA approval on, again, one of the most influential drugs that it has in its portfolio or of the uh, drugs in the pipeline right now. 
does have one drug that was recently passed it's just now starting to be produced and marketed not quite sure if it is uh, being sold at this point but all of the uh, roadblocks have been removed for that drug so that should start turning a profit for the company if we go to the uh, statistics here you can see the PE ratio is NA just because it has a negative return on money as you can see here with its Q4 earnings up on the uh, screen here every earning uh, period has been in the negative just because this is a young biotech company that uh, doesn't have really any products that it's marketing other than that one that just got passed by the FDA and should be I think being sold here within the next few months if I remember correctly from uh, some of the literature I had read uh, last week so just wanted to update you guys again very quickly here Portola, Phar Portola Pharmaceuticals PTLA one of the best stocks in my portfolio so far for day and swing trading. A very, very risky type of investment. Uh, initially, a speculative play that I got very lucky with, with this nice trend up in the price of the stock. Made a one-day total return of over $10,000 on that particular trade. Uh, I do have a video on uh, my video list posted on that particular day during live trading, actually. Got very lucky that I saw that, put a quick video out. So yeah, just wanted to update you guys on this. Don't want to make the video too long, so I guess I'll end it here. As always, if you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Again, want to thank you guys for all the great suggestions for special dividend stocks. Definitely appreciate that. A uh, few stocks that I did not have on my radar, so thank you very much for that. And I'll probably be putting out a few videos because of your guys' suggestions. So again, thank you very much for that. And yeah, kind of with that, I'll end the video, and we'll see you guys next time.